Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar about our latest product, XVS G1. Sony is proud to introduce the latest member of the XVS production switcher family, XVS G1. And today we will disclose the most updated information for G1. And hopefully it will bring you some new ideas about your production workflow. This is Thomas in Sony Hong Kong. I'm Sony Switcher Marketing Manager for Sony Asia Pacific region. I'm glad to talk about our XPS G1 with you today. Let us get started. Thanks for all the good feedback and comments on Sony production switchers. Sony XPS series has been the mainstream model in our X switcher lineup. And we have also released the virtual software for XPS series including virtual menu and virtual panel options. This can help you log into XVS system by web browsers to operate the menu or panel on PC or tablet. We believe it will be beneficial to your switcher workflow. Just a quick review to show you our XVS 6000, 6000, 8000 to 9000 series are on the main stream model supporting HD, 3G, 4K, 12G, and also IP. And as to our XHD MBS series, we still have MBS 3000A and 6530E models for smaller scale HD productions. This is a consolidated comparison chart for our XBS series. The specification has been fixed for a while from HD to 4K input and also output. The new, the new update information is that in 4K mode, from 6000 to 9000 series, each ME can provide four 4 keyers capability in 4K mode. Our current XBS in 4K mode can only support two sub keyers and two 4 keyers. With the new mixed board, XBS in 4K production could be even more powerful. As to our MBS series, it has been selling for so many years, it's supposed to be in this position. It's time to provide something new to our customers. That is XBS G1. And with the new G1 switcher, Sony switcher lineup uh, will become more uh, complete and to fulfill HD, 3G, 4K, HDR, and even SR Lite production uh, in any models for Sony switcher family. The XPS G1 inherits many of the well-established features and architecture from the current models, and it adds a lot of cutting-edge technology and new production concepts as well. The official X battery timing for G1 is at the end of August. Before that, we will disclose more up-to-date information about this powerful but small, reliable hybrid design switcher to you. Please closely follow up on our website and social platform. The XPS G1 builds on the success of the MVS 3000A and MVS 6 by 30 switchers, bringing full HD and Ultra HD capability at an affordable price now. We name this product XPS because it has the Sony XPS switcher family operation philosophy and capability. Feature-wise, same as other XBS series, G1 also provides 2.5D resizers, keyers, DME, format converters, and so on. The all new 4RU processor is combined with four new control panels of selection, plus a newly developed web browse operational menu for efficient and simple installation. Let's find out what features G1 can provide to enhance your production quality. The model name G1, this page also says the reason. G means GPU power. As you might be familiar with the computer graphic processing unit, which enhances PC and workstations power to handle more graphics, videos, gaming, video editing, or animation. So this is the first time Sony utilized 
this GPU software computing technology on the switcher. And G1's design configuration includes GPU, a CPU, a central processing unit, and FPGA, which is a hardware, hardware design. It combines software and hardware processing technology to achieve high-level visual performances. The GPU software ability provides new special features like media player functions, extra software keys, hybrid concept can help G1 achieve high-level operation capability with an economic, economical cost. Here are the top features of XPS G1 switcher. Not only is based on next generation platform, it also brings you high reliability, performance, and flexibility like Sony Switcher's reputation. It also means virtually no compromises in performance and speed for the real-time processing and ultra-low latency. So the most interesting point is the GPU software technology concept. With the GPU option, you can enjoy building media player, additional software layer keys, DME, multi-viewer enhancements, just like the picture showing on the right, you can see the brand new menu page and new multi-view functions, a new audio level meter and a clock function. Of course, besides optional GPU functions, let's back to basic and take a look at G1's main specification. Starting with 2ME, or we can configure to 4ME. HD24 inputs and 12 outputs on the standard 12G SDI I.O. connectors. Yes, 12G SDI connectors on the standard interfaces, which means it supports also 24 inputs and 12 outputs in 4K mode, which can also be 1ME or 2ME based on your setting. The picture here shows the rear panel of G1 processor with a standard layout, two rows of a standard 12G SDI I.O. boards. So G1 in 4K mode is a fixed configuration of inputs and outputs. Actually, it's quite enough for standard 4K production as well. G1 also provides all inputs for balancing function in 4K or HD. 24 inputs for format converging in HD mode, 12 inputs in 4K mode. Brand new clip player and frame memory features. HDR and integrated new multi-view functions are also included as an option. Lastly, both panel and processor have redundant AC power supply unit. A closer look at G1's powerful single processor unit. The picture shows a full optional layout with two 3G SDI I.O. cards on top of standard 12G SDI slots. So you can expand HD I.O. quantity to 48 inputs, 24 outputs. Each board has 12 input, 6 output connectors. As the real panel will also indicate the number of the connectors as well. Left hand side is the basic tally, GPI, LAN port, and the reference interfaces below with redundant power and maintenance USB ports. On the right hand side is another option for Motali GPI RS422 port PIC slots. As to the GPU option, you will be inserted into the processor without any connector needed. Image processing of G1 has upgraded to a high level capability from XBS uh, from MBS series. The started uh, the standard configuration of G1 comes with 16 keys ability. You can set up from 2ME to 4ME based on free ME configuration. In 4K mode, it provides a pool of four four keys which can be contributed to 1ME or 2ME buses. Every standard keyer includes 2.5D resizer and chroma keying functionality, just like other XVS series. Picture-in-picture, -picture, rotation, folder, mosaic, defocus, etc. are all standard resizer functions. 
if you purchase a GPU option, you can get additional four SLK keyer layer, keyers. These four extra keyers can be in any ME. And lastly, the special feature of this one, there is a dedicated click transition key in each ME, whether in HD or 4K. Each ME can apply this transition key on top of the original key quantity. This page has more clear ME and key concept of G1. In HD mode, standard multi-program 2 function can provide two different backgrounds in the same ME. Maximum nine keys are available. That includes one clip transition key. In our XVS switch or other series, we need to consume one key resources to support a clip transition effect. But G1 will offer you one additional clip transition key without consuming other key quantity. If you divide one ME to two ME, original A recycler keyers per ME can be free allocated to two ME buses. Then your ME bus has the resources pool to accept another four layer SLK keyers. Just like the picture shows over here. If it's a 4K multi program two setting, not only you can have two programs with different backgrounds in the same ME, but also you can totally have nine keyers effect in this model in this mode. This would be original 4K four keyers plus four layer SLK keyers plus one clip transition key. If it's a 4K 2ME configuration, G1 can have total up to eight keyers with two clip transition keys with SLK options. This is how powerful G1 can be and have three assignable keyers and ME configuration. Please also note that XVS G1 provides eight ME outputs. Wireless XVS 6000 to 9000 series can only provide six ME outputs. Our G1 brochure is also available to download from Sony website. You can also find this information there for a better understanding. This is a actual uh, ME1 example in HD mode with nine key effect. Key one to key six are different camera sources. Key seven is the frame memory animation background, and key A is the live logo from frame memory, uh, frame memory graphics. An additional clip transition key in the middle, sports news, you can add up to a total of nine keys for ME1 output. So here it says four XVS quality signal processing with 16 full function keys. Each key has its own standard 2.5D resizer, allowing 16 box effect with perspective, etc. And clip transition. Bus also allows an extra transition keyer without consuming any keyer resources. Well, actually, in HD mode, you probably don't need SLK key option as there's already 16 keyers in HD mode. It's equivalent to our XVS 6000 model. The user menu is based on a newly designed browse based application. This can be flexible wire or wireless operation by any connected PC, laptop, or tablet. An enhanced menu system builds on the familiar structure of the existing XVS series. You can open many pages to different features, such as the GPU uh, clip player or additional logo keys at different web pages. Maximum up to 16 web browser pages can be operated simultaneously for multi access multi-users or remote production, just like our XVS switcher virtual menu function. But a bit more advanced, as you don't need a license to use the menu, and there's no function limitation either. Multi-point touch panel operation is also available to adjust the parameter on the menu. Just connect it to a PC, and you can log into uh, XVS G1 and control it by the browser. This page explains the GPU options. GPU is an optional hardware with three software licenses. 
you purchase GPU board without any license, you will have an audio level meter and a digital and analog clock function. A digital license on GPU have three different features. There are 3D DMB license, HD4 channel, 4K2 channel for linear, nonlinear effects. Second, SLK license. As we mentioned earlier, four additional steel image software keys with very low latency can be added to an MV bus, useful for logo or graphic insertion. And lastly, clip player license. Speaking of clip player, this is the first time Sony designs a clip player function into the switcher. By purchasing GPU option and license, you can enjoy four channel HD and two channel Ultra HD clip players. Each clip can go up to one hour duration and you can keep a couple of hours in SSD memory. Like the diagram shows over here, you can import each video by USB, memory card, hard drive, network drive, or even from the cloud, all the operations of import and export will go through the control menu PC. Video files can support MP4 and MOV package, and will also support much more in the future version. Audio streams can also be combined or separated. Very convenient operation. Of course, widely accepted by Sony switcher users, G1 also has frame memory functions and even with an upgraded operation menu. More intuitive and with bigger visual, uh, visualized thumbnails. HD has 16 channels, 4K has 6 channel frame memory as standard. No option needed. Please note that XVS series have only 4 channel frame memory in 4K mode. Therefore, G1 really has a big improvement over NVS series and can really compete with our XVS level. Let's take a look at the new menu design and the frame memory here. Clear, uh, intuitive with large icons. Also, the audio file import audio link has a dedicated GUI as well to select. And the friendly GUI could be easily understand, I think. Import, export via the network or the USB drive at the menu PC or tablet are also available. And like we mentioned earlier, frame memory can be easily set up as a clip transition key. G1 provides four stylish new control panels. It can be 1ME, 2ME, configuration with 16 or 24 source button layouts. Derived from Sony's famous ICP X1000 series, they all ensure compact easy and reliable operation. The new, um, the new G1 panels remains many familiar features of XPS high-end switchers, including small LOED displays, excellent on-air status display, and very comfortable uh, button feel, and a super reliable machine in a mission critical light production uh, equipment. This is a single piece physical panel with four different styles. If you are an XVS uh, switcher user, you can operate it right away. If you are an MVS switcher user, you will also easily pick up the operation philosophy very quickly. Besides, G1 also supports multi-panel operation. One processor with two panels is available, suitable in a 4ME HD configuration or a, a remote production environment. In the future, we will also provide a virtual panel function on G1. Just like the XVS virtual panel software, you can operate switch your panel on the internet browser. The XVS G1 switcher really has Sony's XVS series DNA of reliability, robustness, and durability. It's also very easy to install, set up, and operate. You only need two network cables to connect processor and a panel, menu PC and a panel. Then you're good to go. All the Tali GPI connections are in the processor rear panel's interfaces slot. You don't need an extra system interfacing unit. System expandability, including third-party legacy Tali systems, 
IP tally or I is equal to two connections. NS bus aux remote control panel connection, studio automation control, and more uh, remote production between the processor and the control panel over the IP network are also supported. To meet your uh, requirements from a simple switcher setup to a large scale integrated live HD or 4K production system. This page shows the redundant uh, system concept of XVS G1. Here you can see our panel provides three LAN ports LAN A1, LAN A2, and LAN B. NA2 is actually for direct connection with our menu PC. So for redundant configuration, we can utilize LAN B uh, for the second switch connection. They can also apply to the menu PC or processor. Both need a second network card to support network redundant configuration. But please know that uh, our MKSR panels are not available for redundant settings. G1 processor comes with two uh, LAN ports as a standard LAN, as the standard. LAN port one is for the interconnection utility LAN. LAN port two is for interface connection, such as tally, device control, etc. We also recommended the uh, extra network car brand for G1 if you need it. The XPS G1 system is also capable of supporting network routing function to enable multiple LAN WAN network connectivity, just like previously introduced remote production concept for XPS G1. It can also support the same production concept. This allows the remote operation capability by connecting the processor and the panel over layer 3 network. The control panel can be located at the remote side away from the processor to support remote production over long distance. LAN, uh, LAN 3 uh, switching, layer 3 switching means the, means the devices can be switched and routed in the WAN or LAN environment based on the device own IP addresses. So here is the summary for today's G1 introduction. This chart here consolidates the G1 spec in HD and in 4K mode. Input output from 24 to 48 with options, 4K fix on 24 inputs, outputs 12 to 24, and 4K fix on 12. ME free configuration from 2 ME to 4 ME, and 4K also 1 or 2 ME. Keyers are also fixed in HD mode and in 4K mode. Format conversion, HDR conversion, also sync are also available over here. Frame memory channels, 16 inch HD, 6 channel in 4K. And the GPU function and multi viewer information are also listed up over here. We would like to emphasize that again, that G1 is a really affordable, is a affordable compact via switcher below its via 6000 price range with very powerful uh, system resources for keyers, ME, and frame memory a large number of I.O. in HD and especially in 4K. And actually there is not any other uh, 4K switchers with this size can support this many of inputs and outputs. Safe and future-proof investment, such as expandable system, more integration, HDR, and remote production. Please continue support Sony switcher and Sony will continue supporting our customers with reliable, multifunctional, non-stoppable support and upgradable future versions. So that comes to the end of the introduction. If you need more XPS G1 information, please visit our website or contact our local Sony offices. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.